Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we are going over supplementary angles. What are they? Real simple, so I'll try to make it quick. Supplementary angles are angles which have a angle measure sum of 180 degrees. So for example, if we had a, me a angle here that had a measure of let's say 40 degrees, this angle has a measure of 40 degrees, then A's supplement would be angle B, that maybe angle B looks something like this. And here's angle B, it's big, it's obtuse, and it has a measure of 140 degrees. If it's supplementary to A, then you know it has to have a measure of 140 degrees because 140 plus 40 is 180. So B plus A, when we're talking about their measures, has to equal 180 degrees, which you see here, 140 plus 40 is 180. So we know that B is supplementary to A. You'll often see supplementary angles drawn adjacent to each other because it makes it very clear that they form a 180 degree angle, like this one here. A 180 degree angle looks like a straight line. So if we create another two angles here, let's say that we know this is a straight line and we know there are two angles here, we don't need to know what their measures are to know that they are supplementary. Because they are a linear pair, that is they are formed on top of this line, we know that they are supplementary because an angle that is a line is a 180 degree angle. So we know that they have to add up to 180 degrees because from here to here, gotta be 180. Therefore, this plus this has got to be 180. So this angle and this angle are supplementary. They are supplementary angles. This one is supplementary to this one and this one is supplementary to this one. But again, in order for angles to be supplementary, they don't necessarily have to be adjacent. Additionally, there's something called the supplementary angle angles theorem that tells us if two angles are supplementary to the same angle, they must be congruent. So if we had an angle C like this that was 90 degrees, just for example, 90 degrees, and we know that angles D and E are both supplementary to C, then they must be congruent to each other, and in this case they must both be 90 degrees. Which brings me to one more fun property, that if two angles are both congruent and supplementary to each other, that is, they have the same measure as each other and they add up to 180 degrees, then both angles must be right angles and thus have a measure of 90 degrees. I've got a video proving that if you're interested in that, but besides that, I'll leave it here. I hope this video helped you understand what supplementary angles are and sort of what they look like. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or have any other video requests. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.